We are getting a first look at the moments leading up to a deadly shooting between a man and a Roanoke City police officer. The department is releasing the video five months later in hopes of being more transparent. 10 News reporter Annie Schroeder joins us live to break down what happened leading up to the shooting. Annie. John and Brittany, now earlier this month, the officers involved were in, in the shooting were actually discovered to be acting in self-defense, but tonight we're getting an actual look at what happened as seen through the police body cam video. Now, because the video is pretty graphic, we're only showing you a portion of it. In this dramatic video, you can see Roanoke police officer Bourgeois apprehending 26-year-old Rashid Mormon just before gunfire was exchanged on June 25th. The officer instructs Mormon to drop his weapon several more times as gunfire is exchanged between the two. Eventually, more police officers show up and Mormon falls to the ground. Because the video is graphic, 10 News is only showing a portion that shows officers administering aid to Mormon just seconds after he shot at them. Mormon later died at the hospital from his injuries. Chief Sam Roman held a news conference the next day addressing the incident and calling for transparency from his own department. I don't think there's any officer who, uh, you know, uh, feels good about having to use his or her weapon. On Monday, as part of being more transparent and releasing that video, he also released a statement saying, Despite the difficult circumstances officers often face, the Roanoke Police Department continues to work tirelessly to protect and positively interact with the citizens of Roanoke. In moments such as this, it is imperative that law enforcement and the community it serves come together to address the underlying social issues that contribute to these negative outcomes. Now, Chief Roman also went on to say that he is tasked with making sure that his officers and the community they serve stay safe. Live in Roanoke tonight, Annie Schroeder, 10 News, working for you.